This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Once again, guys, we are back here live in Honolulu, Hawaii, the Prince of Investing show right here in Hawaii. Thank you, guys. We didn't get canceled. We got another episode, guys. How awesome is that? But anyway, guys, as always, I don't have a lot of time, and I definitely know you guys don't have a lot of time, so we're going to jump straight into it. As you guys can see in the description box or the title or however you get this across the globe, we have a very, very special guest, and we have a very, very special topic. This is a topic people always ask me about, a topic that people always got questions about. I want to get into trading. I'm, I have a little time. I want to dabble in the day trading. I want to see what day trading is about. And I know the market is flooded with all type of material, but if a lot of you guys trust me, which I appreciate that, and you say, hey, Prince, where should I start? Where should I go? But you know what? You know I'm going to go get the experts, right, and have them talk to you. But enough of hearing my voice. Today I got a very, very special guest. We got Mr. Oliver Velez, five-time best-selling author and trades all across the world, master trader, 30-year veteran, He's with us live right here today. Mr. Oliver Les, how is it going? I'm doing absolutely, absolutely swimmingly, Prince. And uh, especially now that I've got a spot on your show. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> by the way. Oh, definitely. Thank you. I know he got his glasses on. He got his hat on. He's a little <laughs> yeah. uh, 007 right now. As, he as, calls I, as I mentioned before, I don't <laughs> think you want to see my eyes at this particular point. I actually have been conducting an event all day and 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 this is sort of like the garb that we we wear at at my specific trading events and I sort of ended it a little little earlier than I need than than I typically do just to run up for this show Prince. So anyway, thank you so very much for having me on and um you know, I I always support you in anything in anything and everything you do mm -hmm. and uh, I just think this is amazing. So, you know, I'm looking forward to us having a great conversation here. Definitely. So for people who don't know who Oliver Velez is, who is Oliver Velez? Who is Oliver Velez? Everyone starts off with this question. Um, <laughs> that's because most people don't know who I am. Uh -huh. But listen, I have been a professional trader for the past 30 years. Mm -hmm. um, I have been in the training space. I have trained traders all over the world for the past 24 and a half years. Of those 30 years, um, I am an international speaker on the topic of trading the markets for a living. I'm one of the most sought after speakers in the professional trading arena. Um, I have one of the largest trading organizations in the world today with over 7,000 traders worldwide. Wow. And um, my current operation, my current proprietary trading operation is is growing pretty rapidly in countries like Brazil and all throughout South America, Mexico, uh, various parts of Asia, all throughout Europe, and of course, the United States and Canada. So um, I have over 7,000 traders who I specifically teach, educate, and personally fund. So it's a very unique trading operation um, where whereby it's almost as if it's a Harvard University for trading, mm -hmm. as well as a bank to fund uh, mm -hmm. the graduates from that university, which is very unique in this financial space. I am the author of um, five international best-selling books on the topic of trading. I've been around for a very long time, and despite the fact that many people refer to my work as being specifically targeted to day trading, that's not necessarily true. Mm -hmm. um, but I do know where that began. That began in the year 2000 when Dow Jones um, wrote an article about me and dubbed me the Messiah of day trading. And from wow. that point onward, I've never really been able to, to, to shake that stigma, although day trading is a very important component of what we do. But today I travel throughout the entire world spreading the gospel of direct access trading. I believe this is the last bastion of total independence. For, indi for, for individuals, I believe that every single individual who possibly can try this mm -hmm. should try this. And I'm out there not only teaching and educating people how to do this, but funding them entirely with my own funds um, with the potential of them changing their, li their lives. So that's my mission today. That's wow. who Oliver Velez is today. That's a lot. You know, like he, he spoke about it so nonchalant, like, hey, you know, it was the Dow Jones 
they just said this about me. I'm like, you know, th it's just a, the, the, the world's largest index, the most recognized index <laughs> that everyone speaks about. It just spoke about me. Nothing major about that or whatnot. But I, I want to say, I don't want to, I remember in the beginning of the conversation, you always supported me, and I definitely appreciate that. Um, my first ever guest I had on my podcast, and I've been watching you for years, and I said, um, you know, it's a lot of people out there. It's a lot of names out there, but I watch and I see, okay, Mr. Velez is one of the elites, and he's been around for, you know, I know the market is in the bull run, and a lot of people feel like they're geniuses right now, but I'm like, hey, who's been around for five years, 10 years, 20, even 30 years, decades into the industry, and has mastered his craft and put so much time putting on events, courses, everything, 7,000 traders around the globe. That's amazing. And he's been in this game for 30 years, and I'm 32 years old. That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Thank you very much for that, Prince. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, so the people that's tuning in right now, it's like, hey, I want to get into day trading. I think this is something awesome, you know, because you, everybody wants to be able to just flip that laptop open, hit yes. a couple buttons, and live the amazing day trader's life, live into day trading paradise. What do you have to say to that person? Well, I think it's a start. I think that um, anything that gets a person interested in learning about financial markets, which I believe move the world, I think is a good thing. I, I, I understand what initially normally gets a person interested. It's the idea that this is instant success and instant riches and wealth. And we know quite, quite honestly and directly, Prince, that that is that it's a farce and that's not the case. Oh, no. But I believe it's a start. It's where I started and it's where most people start when they garner an interest in financial markets. Um, so what I would say to an individual who is expressing initial interest in learning about the markets and potentially turning this into a life, um, a life process of being able to support themselves through trading. I would say that it's a very good thing, but they need to start very, very slowly and cautiously and understand that it's a process like anything else. Success in the game of trading does not come right away. And but when it comes, it comes to those who are not only thoroughly prepared, but thoroughly educated, thoroughly trained and developed and matured over a specific period of time. What I'm constantly telling traders is that you have to look at this game like anything else in life. There's no magic button. There's no microwave approach to success here. The name of the game is education, training, and guidance from a professional. And this is the case whether you are talking about elite sports, or whether you're talking about a person who wants to become a professor in higher mathematics, Every single profession usually has a formula for guiding individuals towards success, and that is through proper mentorship, tr proper training, pro proper education, and um, proper development over time. It doesn't happen overnight. Nothing worthwhile in life happens overnight, and certainly not uh, financial investing or trading. Okay. Now, when we look at that topic, right, what you said, hey, you know, you have to have coaching, you have to have guidance. A lot of people today, you know, even though unemployment numbers are at all time low, stock market's at all time high, it's some people out there, they're not feeling the economical wealth. So they sit back and they say, well, Mr. Velez make a great point. It sounds great. I can sit at home and if I'm de dedicated and I have a great coach, I can possibly do this. What would you say, how much money do they need? Are they even prepared? Do they have enough money? So some people are wondering, how much does it cost to even get started? How much should I have? Because that's the number one thing, like you said, I believe as well. Finances rule the world. Finances um, uh, run the globe. Yes. And on top of that, I have a second question. So people out there, they say, hey, we have you know, the most professional traders in the world. They can't consistently beat the markets over and over and over on a consistent basis. Only the top 8%, 5% of the world of traders or professional level can even do this on a substantial basis. How yes. do I even have a chance? Why would I even give this a try? What do you have to say to those two questions? 
Well, um, I have to say, Prince, you asked some very complicated questions. <laughs> Two <laughs> questions at the same time. <laughs> uh, first of all, I, I would I would first of all take a, a tiny small issue with you in terms of it, um, unemployment being at an all time low, but that's neither here nor there at this particular point. What I will say is that one of the first things that I make sure that I make clear to people from every podium that I speak all over the world is that the odds of you having success in this is very small. In fact, it's very similar to restaurants. It's very, the failure rate in trading for a living is similar to restaurants. It's in the high 90% failure rate or in the low to mid 90% failure rate. And that's pretty close to the failure rate of opening a successful and running a successful restaurant with longevity. Um, it's very similar, if not a little bit better than elite sports. So when you ask me, what would I say to an individual who says, who understands that m not even professionals in great numbers outperform the markets and much less active market participants outside of the professional realm, outside of the institutional realm. Why should I give this a chance? Just because if you happen to have what it takes to be that 8%, I call it the 8%. This industry has a 92% failure rate. There's an 8% success rate. You can look at that as the glass is 92% empty or it's 8% full. I, decide, I, I chose years ago to look at it as 8% full. If you happen to be one of the individuals to you know, that happens to have what it takes to be one of the 8%, oh my God, your life and the effect that you can have on life is absolutely stupefying. It's be, words can't even, words can't even truly capture um, the type of life you can live and the effect you can have on life and the lives of others if you happen to be that 8%. So in my opinion, Today, not years ago, today, every single intelligent individual who has access to a computer and an internet connection and a small amount of funds should absolutely try to see if they have what it takes to be the 8%. I never preach this message. I never preach that everyone can do this. I always say there's a 92% failure rate, but if you happen to be one of the 8%, um, Oh my God. Now, I want to say this one final thing, Prince, and I know I'm a little bit long winded here. I want to say this. It's completely fine. That this is supposed to be hard, like anything else worthwhile in life. People say, but Oliver, it's so difficult. It has a 92% failure rate. So what? You want it to be difficult. I want this game to be difficult. I want to be regarded as special. I want to be, be, I want to actually rise to the top of something where I can say the vast majority of people can't do that. Why would this activity be special if it weren't difficult, if it did not have a high failure rate? We give our allegiance to elite sports individuals because less than 1% of the human population can become an elite sports person. Less than less than one, less than 0.001% of the people can rise to this international status of being a basketball player, baseball player, football player, hockey player, or, or, or track person. And we hail that. We spend enormous amounts of money giving homage to those types of people. Anything worthwhile is difficult. And if every single person in the world, if every single one of your neighbors could do this successfully, you wouldn't have interest in it. It would be commoditized. It wouldn't be anything special. So yes, trading, investing is for the minority. The minority make it, the majority don't, but that's what makes it so beautiful. And so I'm always asking, are, do you have what it takes to last long enough, to stick with this long enough, to be the 8%, to be the one that doesn't quit, to be the one that finally gets beyond the majority? And if you feel that you have what it takes, Let's give this a shot, but let's give this a shot in a very intelligent way. Let's get educated, let's get trained, and listen, put your money aside. In my program, I say, listen, you risk my capital, because I've heard enough stories out there where people are trying to do this without the proper training and education with their family's money, and they ruin their lives. We're ending that today. Now, All right, sorry about the long-winded response, that's, that's, Prince, but you, you know You made me. a very good point. <laughs> Anything that's worth having is difficult. 
You know, Absolutely. even uh, one of my, um, I was at a Berkshire a couple months ago, and uh, one of the guys told me, he said, hey, Prince, you know, for what you're doing and for what you've done, it takes years of years. But before I get into that, we got to take a quick commercial break. You guys stay tuned with more from the Master Trader, Oliver Lance, and more from myself, and more from Think Tech Hawaii. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. We have this crazy thing going on today. I was just walking by, and all these DJs and producers are set up all around the city. I just walked by, and I said, what's happening, guys? They told me they were making music. There were a lot of people that claimed they had no musical talent and then sat down and kind of played some really nice sounds. So we're doing. Thank you guys and welcome back to the Prince of Investing Show with your host Prince Dykes. I got a special guest on the line right here, the 30-year master trader, Oliver Velez. He said some great things. Awesome. But if you're just tuning in, stay tuned because we're going to we're going to hit some of the hard topic of day trading. Now, one of the things he said before the break, he said, hey, anything you want to do in life, you got to be elite at it, right? He spoke about, hey, you know, to become an NFL athlete, it takes only 1% whatever make it to become an NFL athlete that are playing football now in high school or an NBA athlete. Anything that's elite, it takes time, effort, and only a few, select few will make it. And I was tagging it on to me personally, right? I, uh, I was around some big brands, right? You know, your uh, CNNs and Yahoo's and Wall Street Journals and stuff like that. And I looked at these guys and said, wow, you know, these guys are doing some great things, right? I'm just little old me doing my own independent thing. And the guy made a, 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 a very crucial point. He was like, hey, think about it, Prince. For what you was able to do, it takes years, and then you got to get lucky. To do what they're doing, you know, you just may have to get a job and put in the right application or know the right person. How many of those people could do what you have done so far? So it made me think. I said, hmm. It's like everybody just don't have it. Everybody's just not going to be there. And if they did have it, they still got to get lucky somewhere down the road. But that just to go to show that, hey, anybody that has success, it's not for the majority. It's for the minority. Now, one of the crucial things I heard Mr. Velez say that I hear in business in general, my inbox is flooded. I get phone calls all the time with some of the greatest ideas or whatnot from people, their dreams and everything. But why do I get those phone calls? It's because they're trying to tackle the most important piece, like Mr. Velez said, that makes the world move, finances. How can I do this? How much money do I need? How can I find this money? I don't have this money. And Mr. Les, you were saying that, hey, in your program, you actually fund people. You actually give people the money. How does that make sense, knowing that 97% of them will fail? Well, um, I think it's a that's a brilliant question, Prince. And I think in order for me to answer, I have to go back to the beginning. I mm -hmm. it, there's a, there was a certain point where I had a paradigm shift in my thinking. Um, I'd gained, you know, really very impressive success, and even a little bit of fame in the in the industry of trading. And you know, it dawned on me that this is such a very niche and very small industry that most people have no idea how it functions, what it, what's involved, um, or even how to get involved. And I said, it, it's just a shame that this is just not available to a bigger percentage of the masses. And so I set out with one of my dreams is to expose the world, expose the masses, for lack of a better phrase, to the joys of trading the financial markets. It is a travesty 
that in our educational system, at least in America, and I believe this is pretty much the case throughout the world, that finances are not taught. The stock market or investing is not taught at a fundamental level. And this is what makes the world go round. So you have people that are graduating from universities, top universities, getting their first corporate job, and they have no idea about how the, how the stock market works, what investing is about, how to even set up their 401k plan on their first corporate job. It's, in my opinion, that's a travesty. And so I set out to try to not only spread the gospel of trading to the masses, but to try to make it possible for virtually anyone to give this a shot or an opportunity. And I knew that the number one hurdle was, was not necessarily education and training, but it was capital. Because the most educated and trained individual without money is just as useless as the uneducated and trained individual without money. You know, you have to have capital to be able to actualize your talent or your edu ed your your educated self or your skill. And so I knew that the only way that I could spread this message and give this opportunity to a much larger number of people beyond the niche that typically becomes exposed to it is that I had to not only provide the training and education, but I had to personally provide the capital. And that is what, in my opinion, has allowed me to go throughout the world and build such a large trading organization today. It is my personal funding of the trader. Awesome, awesome. Because, I, you know, we have different... Would you recommend someone, if they wanted to start right now today, what would be step one or step two that they would need to do? Like, you know what, Mr. Valens, you got a great point. I've been thinking about this for a while. Prince, you got it. I've been thinking about it. That's why I clicked on this video. That's why I watched this interview. Where do I start? Well, listen, I can only, I'm going to be a little bit biased here mm -hmm. because I can only be biased because I cannot speak about what Oliver. others offer or what have you. But if someone said, Oliver, listen, I want to get started with your program. I want to get started with you. You have 7,000 traders throughout the world who are doing this. Um, obviously, that doesn't happen by mistake. How would you suggest I start? First, I'd tell people to start with my YouTube channel, to watch my, my YouTube channel is OL Velez 007. Mm -hmm. um, you can search my name, Oliver Velez. Find my, my YouTube channel, Oliver Velez Trading and watch the videos. I put out a tremendous amount of free content, and I believe this free content can allow you to determine whether or not this is something you even want to try before taking the next step, which might be a monetary step. Um, so I have a series, I have hundreds of educational and training-based videos on trading on my YouTube channel, absolutely free. Follow me on Periscope, OL Velez 007 as well, where I trade live in front of hundreds of people every single day on Periscope. Um, I suggest that maybe they start off reading some books on trading. I have five international best-selling books, uh, which can be purchased on YouTube. But the first step is to become familiar with the market itself, become familiar with the concept of trading, become familiar with the idea of buying and selling for a living in the financial markets. And there's enough opportunity, there's enough opportunity to become at least um, fundamentally educated in that on the internet and things of that nature. When a person is ready for the next step, when they say, listen, I think I want to give this a shot. I believe that I have one of the best programs out there, Prince, because we, we train, we educate, and we fund. And this is the most important thing because most traders out there believe they can step into the most competitive market in the world, um, pit themselves against some of the brightest minds in the world. These brightest minds have billions of dollars at their disposal and put their little small change against that and come out okay. And it's just, it's really very, very naive. Um, it, it's a process. It's a process that should be handled under a professional like anything else important in life and um that's what i would that's that's how i would tell an individual to start um and and to, and, and and the most important thing 
that I try to control in an individual who has initial interest at this is I try to temper their expectations. Um, it takes 5,000 hours, more or less, to become a master at anything. And 5,000 hours is, is multiple years. This is not going to happen overnight. But every journey starts with the first step. And the first step, let's take it now. Okay. You made a very good point. More uh, points. Because that's the reason why I brought you on, Oliver. Because I get a lot of, you know, like me and you talk, you know, uh, pretty frequently. And, and you know, I, I, I thank you for your, you know, mentorship and stopping by and everything you've done for me in the past with helping me make videos better to just just being a good person in general. And I've, I've just, I've just, you know, I've just, I've, I've watched your meteoric rise to to your, your current position and what you're doing. And, and then you, you, you always surprise me and I love that. So anything <laughs> I can do to help is always, uh, always well. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you. Hopefully I can Tina surprise you too. So, Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but you made a crucial point about, um, not having a financial basis in America. And, you know, that's something that people see me do is, uh, you know, whether it's cartoons or children books, all that good stuff. But one of the big things I wanted to say was, uh, by teaching that, by, by hitting those milestones of like having a basis of a financial education, and then on top of that saying, hey, this is why I brought you in because some people are coming in naive, like, hey, I got 300 bucks, I want to become a day trader, I heard something about it, I want to jump into it. So I wanted to hear it from you. But Oliver, we're getting ready to wrap it up, and I wanted to say, what is this something that you want to leave out there to any listeners or viewers around the globe well I would just say this I listen there are I believe that trading is the last bastion of total independence and what I mean by that is it's one of the last activities left to mankind that offers 100% unadulterated true freedom and financial independence it does not come at an easy cost all right. There's the cost of time. There's the cost of effort. There's there's there. It does not come easy like anything else worthwhile. But there is no no other activity that is known to mankind that can offer this level of independence and freedom with just a laptop computer and an Internet connection. Think about this. You are in business from anywhere in the world with a laptop computer and an Internet connection your skill and your knowledge at maneuvering markets, and of course, your capital. And you do not need employees. You do not need necessarily special licenses to do this. You do not need the traditional things that setting up a business in a traditional way typically requires. There is nothing but you and the markets. You do not rely on a team. And there are many situations where a team member of your team messes up and your team loses, not because of what you did, but because of what another person did on your team. There is none of that. There are no excuses. It's you and the markets. Everything is up to you. And what's amazing about this is that you get a chance to start over every single day of your life. And so... It's a wonderful activity that offers a lifestyle that most people only dream about, the lifestyle that's in, in that, that's typically typified in movies. Um, again, only 8% more of the people who attempt this ever reach that state. But I believe everyone should give it a, give it a try. It's such a wonderful opportunity that you have to give it a try. You do not want five years from now to be wondering, I wonder if I would have been the 8% five years ago. So that's my message to everyone. Consider this activity, give it a try, give it, give it a try responsibly, and give it a try at the smallest cost you possibly can. And one of and the programs that I offer do, do allow you to do that. All right. Well, guys, that is Oliver Les. I'm Prince Dykes. This is the Princess of Investing. Guys, stay tuned. Next Tuesday, we'll be right back. If you guys have got anything, questions or comments, drop comments below or whatever you may see. Thank you guys for tuning in. This Thing Tech Studio, the Prince of Investing. And to the next week, peace, be safe. I'm out. Thank you.